here in Miami, Lone Depot Park. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the Miami Marlins. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go and towing the slab, Edward Cabrera. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Ready to go now? This is Corbin Carroll. That's outside. And this one is off and running. The wind and the pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Ball to strike. Down the left field line. Looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And it's a double to start the game. He was all over that one. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Jake McCarthy. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Batting oh, average no. this month over 400. Man at second. Wouldn't chase that time. line drive and that's a base hit into center field and they strike first as they take a one nothing lead comes through with the RBI just a cookie down the middle I mean those are the ones you dream about the ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game right down the middle not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it and now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion and Jack Peterson stands in he's been a great free agent side and that one moves his feet One on, nobody out, a run in, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it, still try to get that ground ball double play. And now one and two. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Left-hand batter waits to first. Might be two. Berger oh. over to second. Back to first. Double play. 3-6-3. Three, three, nicely done. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Here's Josh Bell. And that's in there at the knees. Two outs. There's a strike at the knees. 0-2. Oh, okay. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Lone Depot Park. And starting this one, Ryan Nelson. Well, what quickly stands out to me for this guy is that he comes in with a three to one strikeout to walk ratio on the season. So 
when you consider consistency, the ability to get swings and misses, and to limit base runners, that's critical in winning games today, especially when teams are depending on the big swing, the home run, to win ball games. Bottom of the first. And now the shortstop, Xavier Edwards. Just off the outside edge, ball one. The pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. That's a base hit. Batting second. And now the baseman. first baseman, Jake Berger. He's been on fire at the dish lately, hitting better than 350 this month. And the 1 0. That clips the corner. That one drilled left field. Guriel makes the catch. Batting third, the designated hitter. Let's take a look at our lineup. This team, Chris, not one that gets a lot of production from hitting homers, so they've got to find offense in other ways. Yeah, Boog, hit sequencing is so important for this team. You know, getting that walk at the right time, coming up with that next knock or extra base hit so that you can actually play to run. If not, then you see the record go in the direct opposite direction of where it could go. So, you know, a team like this, the good thing, they're going to battle, they're going to put the ball in play and hope that they can find those holes. The 1 0. And a foul ball left side. Man at first, one away. Swing and a miss. One ball. It's great. The 1 2. Now this is in the air down the line. And foul as it bangs off the fence. In the air right field. And there's two down. Batting four. The right fielder. Game two. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. That one close, ruled a ball. One and oh. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. And another ball. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. 2-2 two, two now. Caught him looking for the K. One left for Miami. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Second inning set to go. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because He's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. The wind of the pitch. That one misses, and, and it's one and oh. Just missed. 
He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And the pitch. Headed down the line. And that's a foul ball. And the righty deals. That misses. And now three and one. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Adrian Del Castillo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Line drive. Caught. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. A Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. First pitch, and he just misses. Just missed. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Ground ball left side could be two. Goes he's to out. second for one. Their second double play already. This one ends the second inning. Offense held a check there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Marlins nothing. Bottom of the inning, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Derek Hill. Derek Hill. Nelson back to work. Off the plate, ball one. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. He's begging, give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. In there. And so now one and two. In the air right field. Carroll hustling after it. Makes a nice run and catch. And there's one down. That is good. The second baseman. So digging in, Otto Lopez. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. Swing and a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Emmanuel Rivera digs in now. Rudder takes off. Swing it a foul straight back. Line drive base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Couple of singles back to back. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And at the play for Miami, David Hensley. Double play ball to second. There's one. And that's two. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. And we're back on to the third Perdomo. inning. Stepping the in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Perdomo. The pitch. That one fouled off. Oh. 
And here it comes. No, A little bit low. low. On the ground right side, Lopez. Slings the yeah. first. Yeah. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting nine. The second baseman. Blaze and now the rookie second Alexander. baseman, Blaze Alexander. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's inside. On the corner for a strike, and it's two and one. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Got a big swing and a miss. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Corbin Carroll, the next to hit. On the ground to the no, left, that's and that's just foul. Two down, nobody on, and it's fouled away. The why to kick the pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. The 2 Swings and misses, struck him out. And the Diamondbacks down in order, but they still lead it one nothing. Set for the bottom of the third, and here's the catcher, number 47. Nelson back to work. In there at the knees. Strike one. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Base knock center field. So a man on base to start the inning. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the shortstop, Xavier Edwards. That's, That's a little bit low. Swung on, belted. And that gets down into the gap. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score in the tie. It's 1-1. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And now Jake Berger, he's 0 for 1. Here Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And he went, says Dave Lawrence. Man at second. Oh. And a strike on the outside edge. Tied up here in the early going. Fights that one away, still one and two.
And he hits a ground ball right side into the outfield. Base hit. Now a long throw home. It's offline. The run comes in. It's 2-1. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. And now for the Marlins, Jonah Bride. That clips a corner. Bride measures 5 feet 10 inches, hitting third in the lineup. And they traded for him earlier this year. Nobody out. Runner at first. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. Kicks and fires. And there's a ball. I don't know how you take that one after the called strike on the corner. Just a little bit off the edge. And another ball. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame here in the last half of the third. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one. Their second double play in just the first three innings here today. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. And up next for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. That one finds the zone. 0 and 1. Two outs, bases empty. Right through there for a strike. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Struck him out looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. Three innings complete. It's the Marlins two and the Diamondbacks one. Back here in Miami, and now the center fielder, the Jake center fielder, McCarthy. Jake McCarthy. And the right hander back to work. Way outside, and that's ball one. You know, these D-backs just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. That one missed, now three and oh. That one at the knees for a strike. And a pitch. And that's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Rudder at first with no outs here. And now it's even up. Way to lay off that pitch down. Went too far that time. It's one and two. On the ground the first. And it's through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. First and second, no outs. And here's the first baseman, Josh Bell. And that's outside. Ball one.
At the belt and fires. Oh. And that's off the inside edge. And now 2-0. The pitch. There's a strike. The Marlins leading by a run. Top half of inning number four. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Right hander kicks deals. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Two on, one out. Lourdes Goriel Jr. will hit next. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. Just missed. Runners at first and second with one gone. That pitch in for a strike. And it's two and one. Two on, one out. Outside. Ball three. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Adrian Del Castillo waits on deck. Rip to third and caught. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Man, he really turned on that one. Absolutely ripped it towards third, but quick cat-like reflexes down there at the hot corner to bring it down. Adrian Del Castillo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. 0 for 1 so far. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing and one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. First and second, two down. To the right side. And that is the inning. Diamondback strand a pair. And our score remains 2-1. Bottom four, and now it's going to be Derek Hill. The center fielder. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Up the middle, Perdomo whips it to first on the run. One up, one down. Knew he had to hurry after that nice forehand grab, and he did. He couldn't have transferred the ball from his glove to his hand and released that throw any better than he did right there. Here's the second baseman, Otto Lopez. And he's already singled in this game. Right through there for a strike. That one finds the zone, and a count is 0-2. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. McCarthy under it. Two down. Now batting, the third baseman, Emmanuel. Here's the third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. Rivera. One for one with a single so far. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Foul ball. Mm -hmm. 
and the 0-2. Oh. That one is upstairs. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't oh. want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Two outs. Just okay. missing there. And it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That's the third. A dive. Nice stop. The throw. And that's a great play for the out. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top five, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Eugenio Suarez. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And a good eye there. One ball, no strike. That's a strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So hard to get that barrel to. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Pretty simple sequence right there, but very well executed. Two off-speed pitches away, gets them trained to look out over the plate. Then they ran a good fastball inside, and it was just too much to catch up to. Nice job of working in and out and upsetting that timing at the plate. Now up next for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. The shortstop takes the ball. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Ball, Next ball. offering is down low. Swings through that one for strike one. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And a swing and a miss. That one ran inside, almost got him. One out, base is empty. And down on strikes. And two away now. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones that let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Now on the bump, Andrew Nardi. Well, he's got electric stuff coming out of the pen. His strikeout rate, though, is through the roof so far this season. Blaze Alexander stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Went down on strikes his first time through. That's outside, and that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. That's in there. And a count even at one. Action in the pen down there. Number 92 getting loose out there. And a pitch. Late on that fastball. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Breaking ball inside. And the count's even at two. Next offering misses down and away. Bounced up the middle. And that one handled to first and he beats it the two outs you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy so an infield single right there does the job nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive you never know what might come next as a result 
So the lineup flips over. Next to hit for Arizona, Corbin Carroll. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two outs. Outside low. And now it's even one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Two balls, one strike. Snap throw to first. Wow. They got him, and that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Marlins two and the Diamondbacks one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the left fielder, David Hensley. David Hensley. The pitch. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. The batter. The catcher. Now it's the Marlins catcher. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And this is inside. One down, base is empty. Well, two and one. That's inside, and that's ball three. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And the three one. Inside ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Up next for the Marlins. Back to the top That's of the Miami good. order. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Xavier Edwards. Oh. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Going two now. Good no. eye right there. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Fouls it off. Still one and two. To first, maybe a two ball. Wide throw, and it gets away. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And they won't get him, and he goes first to third on the error. Now, potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman, he's got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base, and a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still, definitely an error, though. Berger in the box again, takes the strike. One strike. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Runners at the corners, one away. Last half of inning number five. Got him! Outside pitch got the better of him that time. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Now the D.H. Jonah Bride. Oh. And that 
one missing low. One and Here comes a pitch. Line drive. Gets down base hit. Runner from third comes across, and it's three to one. So two outs with runners on the corners. Now it's the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. That one called a strike. It's 0-1. Swings, fouls it off, and he breaks his bat. Corners are occupied with two down. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. That one just misses. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Two on, two outs. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We're through five. It's the Marlins three and the Diamondbacks one. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Corbin Carroll. And he deals. Bunting for a hit. Throws the first in time. Bunt attempt doesn't work. They get the out. Well, I think the defense was anticipating something here because they were really ready to defend as that ball was put down. Nice little drag bunt. But they get the out. And way to go. Jake McCarthy getting ready to hit. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Nardi, a 6-3 lefty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Right through there for a strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. you got to find a way to shake it off, go up there, and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Oh, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that match up again. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's Jack Peterson. And there's a foul ball. And the lefty with the 0-1. One ball. One Pitch strike. out, but no action. With the tying run at the plate, and we're the top half of the sixth. There's a swing and a drive. And that one hops the wall. Around third. He'll score, and it's a one-run game. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. 
who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And he takes one right on the black. Strike one. The pitch. Inside almost got him. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a miss. Now he breaks as bad as it's put in play. He's got it two away. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Guriel up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Just missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And fouled off. And now the lefty. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. Pulls it in on the warning track. D-backs with a run scoring double. It's now a 3-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. And we're back. Here's the center fielder, Derek Hill. The center fielder, Derek Hill. And the pitch. Fastball for a strike. You know, these Marlins, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've been lining the ball all over the ballpark, and unfortunately, sometimes it's right into a glove. But still, they've hit nine line drives so far, and that's something they should feel very good about. Speaking of those line drives, you can't get too discouraged when they don't drop in for you. It's important to remember that you pretty much did everything right, and that's just baseball sometimes. And that one is lifted in the air. Carroll makes the grab one away. Up next to the Marlins, the second baseman. Otto. And at the plate for Miami, Otto Lopez. Lopez. One for two. Right through there for a strike. Down the left field line. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over, and that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Ryan Nelson is done, and a decent effort considering he's normally a reliever. Back with the new pitcher in a minute. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Brandon Fack. And if you dig into his Brandon. walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. Man at second with one away. Emmanuel Rivera, the next up for the Marlins. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One out and a runner at second here in the bottom of the sixth. 
Ground ball up the middle. Over to first, yep, and they got him. The left fielder, number 25, David. Here's the left fielder, David Hensley. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And that's in the dirt. Movement in the bullpen. Joe Matsupply, the left-hander, up and throwing. Floro, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Two outs with a runner at third. Swing and a miss, strike one. One ball, one strike. And that's down and away. Two balls, one strike. In the air, right side. Carroll has a beat on it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Marlins leave one, but they're up three to two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, number 92. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Adrian Del Castillo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Adrian Del Castillo. The wind and the pitch. And it skips in the dirt. Activity in the bullpen. Number 66. The hard throwing righty is up and loosening. Number 62. Also getting ready. Looking to get the tying run on base. That's in there. And the count one and two. On the ground, right side. He takes it on his own. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there, can really settle in. Suarez stands in here. Takes ball one low. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the top half of inning number seven. Ball. Okay. And another ball. There's the strike up high. Now two and one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low and fastball for some pitchers. That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike two. Popped up. Lopez has this one sized up. Snags it for the second out. The batter, number two, Brooklyn, Geraldo. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Geraldo Perdomo. Outfield playing pretty shallow. On the ground to first, and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Kicks and deals. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Sanchez snags it, and that is that. So they go quietly there. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Marlins three and the Diamondbacks two. Back here in Miami, here's the catcher, number 47. Fat back to work. In there at the knees. Slow roller to third. Suarez. 
Now he launches a throw over his head. No problem fielding that one, and the transfer looked good, but man, he sailed it across the diamond and out of play. It looked like he just tried to put too much behind it. Cost him an extra base, too. Back to the top of the lineup, Xavier Edwards, the next up for the Marlins. Down the line. And that's a foul ball. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle yeah, Charlie, and you can see no, why. Sure. It's not a looping yeah. slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Jake Berger now at the plate. One for three. Into center and a base hit. Headed for the plate. The throw in. It's off the mark, and he scores. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. One down. Jonah Bry digs in now. And there's the strike. Righty deals. Good eye in that spot. The other way. Base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Not much he can do about that one on the mound. Made a good pitch inside and jammed it. He just found a way to fight it off the other way and make it work. So first and second with one gone. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The 0-1. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Ground ball to first. Could be two. Over to Perdomo. That's one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 4-2. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Number 66. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Blaze Alexander stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Blaze Alexander. The pitch. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Action in the pen down there. A right-hander appears to be getting loose. Kicks and fires. Up and in, and it's one and one. That's inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Oh. 
fastball in for a strike, and it counts full. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Three and two. Payoff pitch. That's out to center field. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. The throw into second. Not in time. That's a leadoff double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. So, back to the top of the order. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. First pitch misses. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're at the top of the eighth. Fought off foul. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up. There's a strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. And just misses with that one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. On the ground. Zips it across. First out in the top of the eighth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in a ball game like this. Position perfectly. Now here is Jake McCarthy. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Right through there for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Line drive, base hit. Runner around third. He'll score easily. It's 4 3. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. And now Jack Peterson. Pickoff move to first. And he dives back in safely. He's got plus speed. But in this situation, all eyes are going to be over there trying to keep his lead tight. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. One run game, one out, one on. Oh. And takes low for ball one. Laser could be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Coming home. He scores to tie it up. It's four to four. Well, he delivers in a huge spot right there. Well, he's so dialed in. I don't think he even realizes how much pressure exists out there. Very easy swing, nice and relaxed. This is the type of approach you want to see guys take in this situation. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Brett DeGus. Now pitching for the moment. Number 78. So a change being made out at second. Entering is the pinch runner, Kevin Newman. One out, runner at second. Josh Bell at the plate now. Right through there for a strike.
tied at four. Little chopper rolls foul. The pitch keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. A swing and a miss. That's the second out. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Chase that time. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Just off the inside edge, Adrian Del Castillo on deck for Arizona. Two down, go ahead, run at scoring position. Righty to the plate. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So first and second with two outs. Adrian Del Castillo, the next to hit. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Two outs. There's a strike. That's off the mark, and the count is one and two. It's a good take. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. But they score twice and even it up late. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. And we are tied 4-4. Out of the bottom of the eighth, and now the center fielder, Derek Hill. So this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Late swing, fouled off. Right-handed reliever. And that's it for a base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Next to hit, Otto Lopez. One ball, no straight. At the belt and fires. That's Up and in, 2 and 0. Oh. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Bat throws over and he's back in there. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And here it comes. In the air, right side of the infield. 
brings it in on the run sends it over to first and they almost caught him but he's back in time. So up next, Emmanuel Rivera. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. And a strike. That one ripped. And there's a hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. In there, he's safe. Well, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. And now for the Marlins, David Hensley. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. On the ground right oh. side and it's just foul that was close righty delivers and that one fouled off. Two on, one out. Got him looking. Huge strikeout there. A well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Now, number 47 in there at the knees for a strike. There's a breaking ball that drops in there. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And a pitch. Out to center. McCarthy settles under it. Hauls it in to end the inning. Marlin strand a pair. Still all square at four apiece. And welcome back to the ballpark. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. DeGus back to work. Right down to shoot. That's strike one. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's a 1 2. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0 2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. A swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Now up next for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. The shortstop takes the ball. That's a little bit low. Two balls, no strike. That one finds the zone, and it's two and one. All tied up here at the top of the night. And he swings over the top there. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Now fly ball to right center. Makes the grab two way down. Now it's the second baseman, Blaze Alexander. And there's the strike. No ball, one strike. Just off the outside edge, and the count is one and one. Two down, nobody on. Inside just missed.
And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. That one not close. Three and two down. Corbin Carroll getting on deck circle. Out to short. Edwards gets it to first. And that's the third out. Nothing doing here this half. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. And we are tied 4-4. Dylan Floro on the pitch here. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak now, contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Back to the top of the order now. And the batter will be the shortstop, Xavier Edwards. The line of the pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Movement in the bullpen. Justin Martinez up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. The pitch. Inside almost got him. Fouled off. He was late. No, Outside. Didn't. Lifted in the air, right center field. Puts it away for the out. Now batting the first baseman, Jake. And up next for Berger. Miami, Jake Berger. So he came out clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. Check swing. He went too far and it's a strike. Strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball. Chases the changeup in the dirt. And there's two gone following the strikeout. Now Jonah Bride, the next up for the Marlins. Right through there for a strike. And that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here, the last half of inning number nine. And one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. In the left center for a base hit. And now the winning run is on base. The right fielder. And now Jesus Sanchez. 0 for 4 with three strikeouts and he's grounded out. And that one fouled off. <laughs> Trying to send this to extra innings. Close but called a ball. And one and one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Here we go. 
and a pitch. Not even close there. Now two and two. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. Left-hand hitter waits. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Derek Hill next to hit for the Marlins. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. One left for Miami. This game's all tied at four. Back now, we're in extras. And there's a new arm on the mound, Declan Cronin. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season. Go ahead, run on base. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Corbin Carroll. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side and a pitch that misses and it's one to no this is a batter who loves to produce late in ball games he doesn't shy away from the big moment the outside corner and a count one and two man at second and that one almost got him the pitch bows it back with two strikes Tied at four. Hit in the air, left field. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's one away. Now back, the center fielder, Jake McCarthy. Next to hit for Arizona, Jake McCarthy. Three for three with three singles. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the four set second first perhaps getting any ending double play that misses the zone and that's ball one with the go ahead run standing at second here in the top half of the 10 this one high in the air to left center and it one hops the wall the run scores from second and they lead it in the 10th in there safely just a huge at bat right there. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. The batter now, Kevin Newman. Came into the game as a pinch runner. This is his first trip to the plate in this one. Just no, missed. Let's go, Miami. The 1-0. -oh. And that's a little bit high. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but... He looked a little shocked for a second there. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. One away with a runner at third. And here in extra innings.
Liner snagged it first. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Josh Bell. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. Fastball for a strike. <laughs> Dribbled up the third baseline. Rivera. Throw not in time. It's an unlikely infield single. Oh, it's just such a tough play for a third baseman. Fielding on your backhand and then trying to get off such a long throw across the diamond with a quick enough release to get it there in time. Really only the best at the position can fill that. So the Marlins go with a new arm. Number 62. Well, home runs have been a problem this year. Not doing a great job keeping the ball in the yard so far this season. So we'll see if that factors in. Here's Guriel. He swings and fouls one off. Close one doesn't get the call. And yeah, that's ball one. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. Ball to strike. The pitch. Bounce to the right. Lopez. They get the force. Third out. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Last chance to even things up. We head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Diamondback six and the Marlins four. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Justin Martinez. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. And at the play for Miami, Derek Hill. And he deals. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball one. And that's downstairs and outside. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Swings through that one out in front that time. And yeah, that's outside. Otto Lopez waits on deck for Miami. Tying run at the plate. That's the third. Sneaks through, base hit. Throw and it gets away. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical. You want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. So runners at the corners, nobody out. And now for the Marlins, Otto Lopez. With the winning run at the plate. And we're in the last half of the 10th. Over to first, and he saved. Right-hander kicks, deals. And there's a ball.
And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Two and one now, two aboard. And that'll fall for a base hit. Runner from third in to score. And it's six five. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Now the third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. And there's the strike. With the tying run at third, winning run at first. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. McCarthy grabs it on the run. A big run scores on the sack fly. It's 6-6. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it. But a really good job of getting that run in from third. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Joe Mantiply. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Tied at six, David Hensley getting ready to hit. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Outside low, ball one. And the pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Sizing this one up. Squeezes it. The batter, the catcher, Ali. Now it's the Marlins catcher. That one finds the zone. Going one. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Step off, throw to first. Lopez back in on the dive. Kicks and fires. Ball one, one there. One of the zone for a strike now one and two nothing but curveball so far in the at bat kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if he'll ball. try to speed you up check swing no appeal with the winning run on at first here in extra innings up the middle Perdomo Fires over to first, and we're headed to the 11th. They put two on the board with a couple of hits, no errors, and one left. On to inning number 11 we go, and we're all even at six apiece. 11th inning set to get underway, and now the catcher comes up to him, Adrian Del Castillo. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. This one chopped up the middle. Tosses the first. One up, one down. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. Here's the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. 
Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. And the righty deals. On the ground to third. Loves it on the dive to first. Nicely done for the out. Cat like reflexes on that one. Makes the dive, has to get up. Clean exchange to throw a strike across the diamond. And what a tremendous play. Tight at six. And now the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And that's in there for strike one. Right into the plate. Not close with that one. And it's a ball and a strike. And that's a base hit. The run scores from third, and it's a 7-6 game. Oh, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Just a simple soft liner into center field for the knock right there. Maybe a little bit fooled by the pitch, but he did a good job of staying through it, and that allowed him to fight it off and just get enough behind it. And now, Blaze Alexander. That's a laser base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Back to back base hits. Nice line drive no, to the pull side right, right there, here. but he didn't spin yeah, off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Yeah, the batter now, Corbin Carroll. In the air, left field down the line. Reaches for it, but it's foul. Breaking ball inside. And that is ball one. And he grounds one to the right side. And that's just foul. First and second, two down. And we're here at the top half of the 11th. Two and two. In the dirt. To third. And got him. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And this is now a 7-6 ball game. All set for the bottom of the 11th. Now at the plate, Xavier Edwards. Xavier Edwards. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. In today's game, outs are valuable, so guys aren't just willing to give themselves up to advance a runner. They're trying to drive him in as well in the process. So I don't expect him to shorten up and just try to hit behind the runner here. Outside low, and now it's even one and one. And another ball. So the tying run at second. Ball Off the three. mark there. And that's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Kicks and deals. Fought off foul. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Payoff pitch. Struck him out looking. So digging in, Jake Berger. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Ball one. 
trying to close out a one run lead. We are in the 11th. Line, and that's a base hit around third. The relay to the plate. He will score, and the Marlins tie it up. It's 7 7. Well, we're starting over again, all tied up. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. One down, runner at first. Next is the designated hitter, Jonah Bride. And there's a strike. One down, winning run at first. And we're in the bottom of the 11th. That misses the zone, and the count even one and one. That's down and in. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Now batting. And now the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And here it comes. And it's even up. Two outs. And the one two misses to even the count. Just miss. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Derek Hill up next. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. And a swing and a miss. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And we're back on to the 12th. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Corbin Carroll. Man at second, nobody out. And Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single now the number two hitter Jake McCarthy four out of four with a triple and three singles that's outside and that's ball one Runner breaks for third. Ball outside. Throw to third. He's safe. I'd say an aggressive roll of the dice there to steal third in this spot, but they felt good about it, and it worked out. Now the game plan changes a little bit at the play to get that go-ahead run home. The defense might pull the infield in.
That one's in there. And that's strike two. Hater deals and a foul ball. He stays alive. And another ball. Kevin Newman waiting to hit for the D backs. Line drive, come on! That takes away the opportunity to score the runner from third with a no, sack fly. We're Kevin talking about a different story Kevin. if that line drive hits the ground. Mm. But he made a good play, and they can get out of this thing with one more out. Kevin Newman stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He's 0 for 1. Top of the zone for a called strike. Two outs and a runner at third, and we're deep into extras. Right back to him on the mound. Out number three. One left for Arizona, and this remains a seven all time. Kevin Ginkle into the game. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And at the play for Miami, Derek Hill. And a pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Gets him to chase after that one. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Got him swinging. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. So up next, Otto Lopez. There's the strike. One away, the winning run at second. Next offering is in for a strike. Out towards right center field. Carroll moves towards it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Up next for the Marlins. The third baseman, Emmanuel. Now the third Rivera. baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. Swing and he popped it up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Marlins leave one. Still tied. 7-7. Seven, seven. That was an opportunity to do damage. He popped it up instead. Frustrating at bat. He'll be thinking about that one for a while. Back here at Low Depot Park. And the batter now, Josh Bell. The right-hander back to work. That one, one not close, okay. and it's one to no.
Right handed reliever. And fouled off. Man at second. That one missed. Good one. Next offering away upstairs. Lourdes Goriel Jr. to bat next. Rip to first caught. Well, baseball can be cool, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for him. Now the left fielder, Lourdes Goriel Jr. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Here comes the 0-1. Way one ball, high. One, straight. one out. The go-ahead run is at second. Here deep into extra innings. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And it falls. Play at the plate. Safe. And they take the lead. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. You know what they say. He couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. for the Marlins number 53 just trying to keep this one close here and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game here's the catcher to hit Adrian Del Castillo to short could be two Boots it. There's one. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. Over to first. Safe. Well, that was clearly a double play ball, but the bobble unfortunately prevented him from being able to get two. But a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. And first offering is fouled off. That one hit to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. The batter, number two, shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Here's the shortstop at the play. Geraldo Perdomo. That one outside. Ball one. Two on, two outs. And a foul ball left side. The 1-1. One, one. The shortstop takes the ball. And it goes just foul. Two outs. Out to short, Edwards. They take the force out. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But they pick up one run on the RBI single.
And this is now an 8-7 ball game. Back here in Miami, here's the left fielder, David Hensley. What are you looking to do in these spots? You're down a run. You're leading off the inning. He's not a power hitter, a guy that's looking to tie it up with one swing. So he's going to take and get into this at bat and try to get deep into the bat. Ultimately, however he can, get to first base. So the tying run at second. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Swing and a miss struck him out. And here's the catcher. Now you got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. That one's upstairs, ball one. Ball one. With the tying run at second. And here in extra innings. That Whoop. one finds the zone. That's strike one. And another ball. And a pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. A one-run lead, and the home team trying to pull it out. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. And a base hit. And now two aboard. The winning run is on base. Throw comes in quickly. And the tying run forced to hold on at third with one away. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical. And you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. Runners at the corners here. One away. Xavier Edwards. Double steal, and it's a squeeze. Alexander, throw to first, in time. Tie ball game as they get the second out, but the run scores. Oh, man, it takes guts to call for the suicide squeeze with the lead on the line and this late in the game. And that was great execution. They're playing with cryotherapy in their veins. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. And that one is inside. The winning run on second base. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And a count one and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Here in the bottom of the third team, two outs. Oh. And downstairs. Fights it off, you'll see another. Man on second, two down. Slider misses outside. Jonah Bride in the on deck circle. The pitch. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Winning run and scored position with two away. 
Ball four, he walked in. And that'll keep the line moving. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. First and second, two outs. Jonah Bry will hit next. It's a good spot to be in. With runners on first and second, you know the pitcher's going to come after you. There's the strike. Last thing he wants to do is nibble, load up the bases, and then walk in the winning run or throw it to the backstop and bring in that winning run. Next offering is in for a strike. Next offering misses down and away. At the belt and fires. Out to short. They get the force. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Still looking for a winner. We are deadlocked at eight apiece. All set to begin the 14th. Here's the second baseman, Blaze Alexander. Alexander. And the right hander back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Man at second. Fouled off. He was late. Pitch misses and a count two and one. There's a strike, 95 of that one. And another ball. Corbin Carroll waits on deck. pitch and a pop up right side foul territory makes the catch for the out the right fielder number seven Corbin Carroll and now here is Corbin Carroll third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt This ball's chopped on the ground. They get the tag on him, and that's the second out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a now good at bat. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Jake McCarthy. McCarthy. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Runner at third, two away. Breaking ball, and that got him. Well, the worst part on that one is he lost control against one of the fastest guys on the team. This oh, might turn into a double. Man. And next is the designated hitter, Kevin Newman. Newman. And a good eye there. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Runners on first and third, two away here in extra innings. Pitch misses there, and it's 3-0. and oh. And the righty deals. And there's the automatic. Fouls one away, and now three and two. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Two on, two outs. 
Bounced up the middle. And that chance handled. That's the third out. Diamondbacks strand a pair. And this remains an eight all time. Back here in extras and a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning, A.J. Puck. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Leading off, Jesus Sanchez. Here comes a pitch. Fastball for a strike. Left hand hitter waits. Way upstairs, and it's two and one. Corner for a strike. Two two now. Rainbow. Two strike. Derek Hill up next. And he deals. And that one lifted in the air center field. Drops into the glove. Runner tags it second. Safe. He beats it. Now batter. The center fielder. And up next for Miami, Derek Hill. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. Now a pitch out, and perhaps they were protecting against the squeeze. And now the lefty turned on, but foul wide of third. Kicks and deals. Runners breaking for the plate. A squeeze, and he gets it down. Across is the winning run, and the Marlins win it on a walk-off squeeze. Wow! Well, a gutsy call from the bench. You've got to have a lot of confidence in the ability to handle the bat by that guy standing at the box. Well, he got it done, put the ball on the ground. That's all you're looking for in terms of execution. Incredible finish to this game. And the final here today, 9-8. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.